Hello! Welcome to another episode of Toilet Lit Philosophy. I'm Brie Brie Fresh. This is the spot. Oh. You guys, if I could show you her cute little face. She is an adorable little person and she is in here learning mycology. And it's awesome! Yes! <laughs> so how have you felt overall being here and doing this firsthand? Um, wow. I, I felt freaking amazing. I prefer to do... I prefer to learn everything firsthand. I prefer to learn from people that I know and I trust and, and people that inspire oh. me and I know that it puts so much work into what they do. So I felt great. I'm happy to be here. Yay! Yeah, and I feel really awesome being like the first one here y'all to kind of say okay that worked that didn't work i didn't like that yeah. i love that let's yeah. try something else That's cool awesome. no yeah that has been fun for a couple yes. days oh yeah so this was the crash course version of what we're hoping to offer to the public in the near future just you know a, a hands-on here's step by step how to grow your own mushroom So we have done an Uncle Ben's before, right? right. This is uh, Uncle Ben's Revisited, yeah. I guess. Like take two, maybe? Take two. I talked him into doing it because I thought it was cool and I wanted to try it. That's cool. <laughs> I'm glad he saw that video. Yeah. I feel like that's helped a lot of people. It is a very simple way to start. Right. When you don't simple. want to make those massive investments in the beginning. And expensive, yeah. right? Yeah. Right, right. How much were they? Like, well, two, bu two, two bucks, bucks I think. Yeah. yeah, I think they're two bucks each. What flavor is the rice? Show me the rice. Uh, the rice is whole oh. grain brown rice. Ingredients, water, whole grain brown rice, less than 2% of canola oil. Yeah, um, so that's what we're gonna be using. They equal half a quart each. To get started, we've already pre-cleaned them. We squirted them down with isopropyl alcohol. What we're gonna be doing is attaching a micropose filter onto the top, and then we're also going to be putting on a an injection port onto the rice bank. And what this will allow us to do is inject <laughs> our culture into the rice and allow it to get some gas exchange at the top. So what's the first step? All right, yeah. so the first step, obviously having your rice ready. For this particular tech, you're going to be needing the filters and the injection ports. If you do not have access to these, there's different ways to make the injection ports and filter patches. You will also be needing a culture of your choice. Any kind of culture, any kind of uh, mushroom variety will do. You're going to need something small to pierce the bag with so that you can put the air filter on. And to help us make it a clean cut, well, we're just gonna be using the torch to get it red hot. We'll pierce through the plastic and it'll be a nice little incision in the bag. A needle, in this case, it's gonna be an 18 gauge to inject our, our culture into our grain. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the first one. So I'm pushing the grain down to make a, a gap. So when I pierce the hole through, yeah. it'll expand. Okay. And just get the hole over here. Okay. And then I'm also pulling them apart so that when I burn through, I don't burn. So 
if you didn't have the port, you would just do the microport tape, right? I suppose you could make the hole, inject it through the hole, and then attach the filter so that you never have an extra hole. Oh, that does and make sense. Get the squirt after you poke the hole. Yeah. That will work. Yeah. yeah. That does um, make sense. But the sense. advantage of having the the fil the the port here is that you can actually see the bullet taking place. Exactly. Where up here it would be obstructed. Put a hole up top. Put a filter in place. Uh, stick an injection port down near the bottom so that you can see your knocking line whenever it goes through the needle. So we're not going to spray it down so that everything can stick right away. Okay. It's really hot. Is it ready to go right now? Yes, it is. Now, right now? Student. Oh, boy. There it is. Okay. You made it whole. There it is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, this is, it is really cool to see people come up with these ingenious things. Nice, nice. So I'm sure many of you recognize the filters. These are Micropose filters. We are always down to support Micropose. He does a great, great job. Really quality stuff. up and they're like oh I got an LC and the seller okay. told me to use all 12 CCs. <laughs> I'm like that's messed up yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone likes to grow differently so I can't be mad. Yeah yeah. Do you think that makes that process faster? Well in the bag or the jar? Uh, that's a fair question and to be completely honest with you I think that it makes it that it, that it potentially could make it faster but it might make it a little bit slower to start off simply because there's so much going on Oh, okay. And then I'm um, sure you end up having some kind of cannibalism oh, instead of the eating itself. That would be my guess. Um, that does make sense. Okay, so I had to change my blood so because I had a little tear. Because why? Huh? Why? My my whole had a my whole hole, my blood yeah. had a tear. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound quite as flattering as the other one. <laughs> okay. So, 
uh, have a clean syringe now. Yeah. I do not touch any part, any any opening on the syringe to keep it clean, to keep the integrity of the sterility. And then I will remove the door lock off and only touch those parts together. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then when you twist it, you'll feel it lock into place. And once you feel it lock into place, you can leave it at that at that um, level of, of uh, friction, I suppose. Okay. Any more, and then you'll have to remove the needle. Got it. Okay. Okay. Step one. Step one. <laughs> <laughs> You've got this. So you have some experience with this, right? Yeah, I've definitely, I mean, I've, I've done this with, with a few of my own things. Oh. I just haven't tried in the bags, in the rice bags, and that's what makes this fun. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. We're going to lock off first. I got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. I can do this. I can do this one-handed stuff. <laughs> watching the video and I'm like this is cool stuff. Okay so I've got my one cc here. Yeah. Okay. But see I was looking at the one cc and I didn't get to see the score. Oh uh, okay. But it's in there right? Yeah it's in okay, there. Okay so it's definitely in there. I got <laughs> I think I got about two cc's in mine. Oh, okay. Should I put two in mine? Too? Sure go. Okay. And then you can see the score. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you 
be able to see it through the plastic, and eventually it will it will be reabsorbed by the grains. And by the time the by the time the top is colonized, you'll know 100% that it has been mycelium. You're always going to have a view of it. Injection port porn. <laughs> oh, injection. Sorry, that was a mouthful. I can't use that. <laughs> Funny. Ta da! Very nice. All right. Very nice. All right. That was cool. I missed the prep of the bags. Did you microwave to sterilize? No. no. These come steril sterile, right? Yeah, they come sterilized. So now you just wait for them to colonize, right? Yeah, we just wait for them to. Yeah. All right, so, yo. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope this motivates you to grow your own mushrooms on a budget. If you have a budget. Yes. And if you don't have a budget, yeah, and if you don't have a budget, do it anyways. All right, yo. Bye. That was hey guys, it for, for coming in. live today. Hope you guys have a fantastic evening. Yeah, we'll catch yes. you guys later. Thank you. Take care. Today, you are who you are today. See? You still need the Terranua version.